Healbot gives you full control of your role. It helps to see everything cleanly, assigns all your abilities, and helps decurse and dispel. But most importantly, it does all this as one lightweight package. With the default settings, Healbot is kind of a mess. You don't know who is actively near you, you don't really see any of the groupings, and the aggro might be a little jumpy for your liking. Here I have at least four people within range, but nothing on Healbot to indicate that. So instead, this is what we want. Names showing up as I get in range. We can now see the group assignments, which is desired for some healing spells. I can see little aggro indicators on the names, so it's being informative and non-intrusive at the same time. It's also more low profile. So I will show you the settings that I use tab by tab. I will also briefly touch on some of the settings so you understand why I chose those settings. Main one to note here is that since we are turning off the options button, to get to this menu you need to right click on the border of Healbot. You can also click the H on the minimap. We'll revisit the new test bars feature in a couple minutes, but otherwise you can just pause the video for each menu and copy all the settings to your game. Here you type the spells you want to assign to each mouse button. You need to spell it exactly like it's spelled, including the capital letters. I couldn't get the auto target and the auto trinket features to work, which is no big loss though, because these are just for convenience. You can still use macros to achieve the same results. Uncheck that healing spells under Smartcast. This will make the interface more consistent, and you'll always know what spell will be used when you press a button. The skin tab has grown quite a bit, so it has a lot of subsections. Big one under general is enable monitor aggro and select show text. This will put those little greater than less than symbols around anyone who has aggro. It's minimal on space and the least intrusive. Set the opacity for the background to clear. Once you have Healbot where you want it, select lock position so that you don't accidentally drag it around while in combat. Enable Group, Raid, and Pets. Next setting is the Alert Settings. This is the most important setting in my book. When set to 100%, this is what makes Healbot show people as enabled whenever they are around you. Otherwise, they will only become enabled when something is happening to them. As a healer, I want to know who is within my range at all times. Next one is Sort and Subsort. Just set it to Group and None. And so long as you have group and raid selected above, your name will always be located at the anchor point you set on Healbot. Enable incoming heals, and the default settings are good. If anyone else in the group is using a compatible healing add-on, it will send that information to you, so you will be able to see the heals destined for a target as soon as they start casting. This can help eliminate unintended sniping where multiple healers queue on the same target. This is also a good reason to encourage other guild members to use Healbot. Here's an example of incoming heals. You will see the big heal coming from the druid behind me, and then a continuous trickle from the hot that was applied directly after. This one is quick. Don't flood your raid with spam. Just turn on Resurrection Notice and be done with it. With the Res Notice enabled, when you click a dead person's name on Healbot, it will send a message to the raid chat, letting that person as well as other healers know that you are on it. Enable Headers. This allows Healbot to sort the groups. Adjust the opacity to clear. Tweak the numbers to your monitor and vision requirements. Set the opacity values to about what I have here. Set aggro bar to 1 and mana bar to 0. This is where that new test bar feature on the general tab can be handy. It allows basic simulation of a party or a raid based on the settings you choose. From there you can go and adjust some of the skin settings to see how it affects it.
Set color text by class, but disable the sub settings. The player's name will always be present anyways, so we may as well put it to good use. We don't need any more icons or text cluttering up the health bars. Show health on bar and select delta as the display type. This will show the actual health value that the player is needing to get back to full. No guessing required. Also enable incoming heals. Pretty much everything here is good, just a pointer. I use icon position on the right because I play a discipline priest and a resto druid, so I have to deal with a lot of hots and buffs. I don't want them blocking the player's health when they are low on health, so that is why I chose to display them on the right. Enable raid icons will let you see any icons put on players whether by a raid leader or by a deadly boss mods. The cure tab is where you set up the decursive aspect of Healbot. You select which of your abilities you want Healbot to monitor as well as who to monitor. In this case raid also filters down to party and self. Be sure to set to monitor to remove buffs as well as while in combat. You do want to monitor for slow movement. In the middle is where you can add custom debuffs for specific boss encounters. To add a new debuff, just type the name of the debuff and hit save. You must spell it right and you must capitalize the first letters. To remove a debuff from the list, select it and hit delete. I'll show you some examples of the custom debuffs. This is Fusion Punch from Iron Council. This has to be dispelled immediately or it's a wipe. Searing Light is the Light Bomb from XT002. Slagpot is from Ignis and Ulduar. This victim needs to be healed through it. Stone Grip is from Kalagarn and Ulduar. Victims also need to be healed through this one as well. This allows you to select which buffs you would like to put on people. You then select who you would like to buff. Again, raid also applies to party and self. You can then select the color for each one. Also important to note is to enable monitor for missing buffs, but I choose not during combat because I don't want it to interrupt a spell cast or recognizing a debuff. Here we start with the monitor buffs turned off and Healbot looks normal. We'll enable the monitor and then cycle through all the missing buffs. I usually turn all this stuff off, but one that you may like is enabling the tooltip and target information and then setting for the default location. This way when you mouse over a healbot target you can see what they are, what spec they are, and where they are located, but it's down in the corner where it's not uh, blocking anything. Here you can see how healbot can be used on classes that aren't healers. I set it to just self and pet so that I only see me and I can do some utility work with it.
buffs with Healbot. This shows using the top slot trinket, inner focus self buff, and then casting the spell. Notice the trinket and the buff both go in cooldown. Next is power and fusion attached to pennants. Here's the macro for it. 